and dot create. So let's go ahead and create a new entity. So at that point, we access inside the accounting system container. Uh, we access the invoice header and we created a new entity. Okay, this is just an empty entity. Let's go ahead and create a new uh, invoice detail. The same manner. So db dot invoice, but now we want the detail, and we're going to create a new entity. So let's go ahead and then add uh, some information to these entities. So with uh, invoice header, um, we have two properties in here. We have a um, total and we have the ID. We don't have to touch the ID at this point uh, because it's going to auto create that for us. So let's just assign a value here to 150. Okay. And this is a decimal value. So we'll put an M at the end. And then uh, invoice detail. Let's just add some bogus information in here. Um, let's say this is under price uh, and under item description is going to be some item. And invoice detail dot price and let's just put that as 75 uh, did I I don't think I changed the properties in here did I I don't think so let's go back to the model real quick double click the EDMX file and if we look at the price you can see that I left it as a string so that is that is not correct quantity I left it as string as well so let's go ahead and change this so int 32 for quantity and for price we're gonna change it to a, a decimal okay I'm gonna save it I'm gonna go through the same process one more time actually this is uh, really good that I'm doing this because I can actually talk about something else um, generate database for model is going reach something happen here okay so well, we're going to regenerate the whole thing. So, generate database for model. Finish. And it's uh, over here, it's just letting me know that it's going to overwrite the SQL file that I showed you earlier. And then, when it, it and this is just telling me that it's going to um, um, overwrite the existing schema and the existing mappings. So, that's okay. One important thing right now if you look at this script file, it's not going to update the, the database, it's actually going to drop all the objects and it's going to recreate it so if you have data inside your database at this point you actually would lose that information um, so you have to be very careful with this there's no there's no good path at this point to um, to take care of that problem so we can maybe talk about that later on I actually have to do some research on that as well so you can see that now price is actually a decimal so the uh, domain specific objects got updated as well uh, let's do one more thing here invoice detail dot uh, quantity equals two. Now I'm simply going to attach this details to that invoice. So invoice header dot um, invoice details dot add and this is uh, invoice detail in here. Now that I have that information in there um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, look at the entity one more time invoice header. So I'm gonna access the invoice headers and I'm going to add that invoice header that I just created earlier back to the container and now I'm gonna save the container I'm gonna save the changes that I made to the container okay so before we run this um, let me refresh this I'm gonna F5 one more time you can see that we have no data in here um, I'm gonna go ahead and step to this really quick I'm just going to F10 uh, my way through it. So I'm having uh, I, ha I had a little glitch with the F10. Um, I'm going to go ahead and then use the visual here. So I'm going to F10 my way. Created a new instance. It's uh, it's empty. A new instance of the entity. Uh, clicked another one. Created another one. Now filling the entity with information. Okay. So now we have the uh, header and we have the detail. Now back into this header entity right now, um, I'm going to attach this invoices right here into the uh, invoice um, into the invoice uh, list that I have inside the header. Okay. 
So now when we look at it, we can see that we have one detail in there. And now under the uh, container, I'm going to attach the initial invoice header. This invoice header right here, this entity, it's going to get attached back into the invoice header of the um, accounting system container. Okay. Once I do that, I am ready to save the changes. So I'm going to click and I'm going to step right over it. And now it's going to finish debugging. So I just I have the window open in here. It's going to finish debugging and then it goes away. Now we can get back to the uh, SQL Server in here and press F5. And we can see that we have those records inside the database. Um, and you can see that we have an association too. So the uh, invoice header is connected to the invoice detail with this foreign key. So you know that these details right here uh, belong to the invoice header. Um, so that's a, a very quick and simple introduction to uh, model first. Um, a lot of things that I didn't go over, but um, it's just an intro to it. Um, hopefully, hopefully this was uh, this was of value. Um, well, let me know what you guys think. Uh, don't forget to uh, like the video, subscribe, and then join our Google Plus uh, community now, the uh, Facebook community. Um, uh, we are we're shutting that down. We think that Google Plus is a better tool, um, and so uh, join us there. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.